Um, and I'm, I'm going to give another example down here because it's like three examples. All okay. Um, all right. So let me do this. All right. I'm going back over here to the style. And it's a cell limit. All right. And we're going to go ahead and just color code that green again. Right. So now we found our high point. We put a horizontal line directly on top of that. Mm -hmm. Created our stock loss. Then we went over here. We found our previous high point. All right. Okay. We boxed off that candle by putting a horizontal line on top and on the bottom of that candle. Okay. And both of these become cell limits. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, after I do that, what I do is I come over here grab my measuring tool, and then from the bottom of that candle, what should I say, um, at the low, the low, okay, I just measure out 25 pips, right there, all right, and then what I do is grab a horizontal line, and I put it directly, okay, at the base of that, Okay, and I set this, and I'll turn that. And that's gonna take profit. And that's it. Now, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go over here and grab that box, the rectangle, Mm -hmm. And I will shade it red. That way I know that this is a cell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that happens is notice how the market came down, created your head. All right. Then came back down 100%. Mm -hmm. All right. Of this shoulder. That 100% is right there at that line. Okay. She came down. Boom, 100% came back up into this area. And notice how she triggered one and two. Wait a minute, Let's do that again, one and two? Yeah, notice how she came up and she triggered your first cell limit here. Oh, got you, uh-huh. Came up top and triggered one. the other one, right. Got you, okay. So this is the reason for trapping the candle because you can sometimes actually get multiple, um, uh, positions and triggered and wind up getting your money a whole lot faster so on this particular one you wind up getting more than 50 pips because mm. from here to here is 25 but from mm -hmm. here to here is more than 25 i think this one was like 30 something odd pips yeah nice. like 33 pips so you don't walk away with like 30, was it 38 pips? I mean, nice. 50, 58 pips, right? 58, mm-hmm. So you see how easy that was, right? Easy, right. easy. Math. All you're doing is following your head. Find the left yeah. shoulder, the, the, the previous high point, that's it. Mm -hmm. And then you just box off that candle, set mm -hmm. those two lines as your, your limits, mm -hmm. stop loss, measure down for your take profit. That's it. That's nice. I like that. Yeah. All right. I like that. Now watch me do this again. Right. Okay. We're going to clear everything off the charts. Just clear everything. All right. So looking at the, the, the buys. Here's your lowest point. Mm -hmm. your lowest point. So all we're doing, once again, we're just grabbing a line, horizontal line, and we're just putting at the, the base of that candle mm -hmm. that produced the lowest point. All right. Now, whoops, you know, for that one. All right. So this line becomes your stop loss. All right. And then we're going to go over here to our coordinates. We're going to grab our coordinates. Or should I say our price? And we're just going to change that color to red. All right. Just to signify that that's our stop loss. Easy put, right? Yes. All right. So now we're looking for our previously low point. Okay. Our previous low point. 
That's this candle here. Mm -hmm. This is our previous low. So what I do, I put a line directly at the bottom of that candle. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm going to trap that candle. So all I'm going to do is put a line directly on top of that candle as well. If I can put it correctly. There we go. All right. So now I just grab my rectangle. All right. And I just make a nice little zone. Mm -hmm. but because this is a buy, I'm going to change that color to blue. All right. So this line here, this becomes my entry. This becomes my first buy limit. So I'll copy the coordinates. Buy limit. All right. This becomes my second buy limit. Change the color, change that to green. Here, grab my coordinates. Right. Now, why are you copying the coordinates? Um, for my notes, really. And, oh, okay. Um, essentially, say if you wanted to send this trade out to your team members. Okay. Very easy for them to see what the stop loss is, see what the buy limit is, you know, send the, um, the prices, and they can just plug it in automatically, you know, okay. without having to try to figure it all out. Okay. Right? And then I just measure 25 pips. There you go, 25 pips. Nice. Go over here, grab me a horizontal line, and I just put it directly on top. Change this, grab my coordinates. Let's say that's my take profit. And change my color to blue. Boom. Nice. That's it. That's how I feel it. So I see how it came down. Triggered. Mm -hmm. yep. And then once it actually triggers your trade and she hits your take profit, just go ahead and close out the other one. Okay. That's it. Now, mind you, notice this. In neither one of these scenarios did the market ever go past your stop loss. Mm-hmm. Never went past your stop loss. Okay. Right. Now, we're going to clear the chart out again. We're going to do this all over again. Okay. <laughs> all over again. All right. Okay. So, we find our what? Our high point, right? Yes. So, that high point is right there. This is our high point. So, we're going to change this. That's our stop loss. There you go. All right. All right. And just step me through it all. All right. So, what's my next step? And you find the previous high, which would be um, over some more left, right there. Right here. Oh, come back right there. Okay. All right. So I'll go ahead and put that there. Make that color green. That's a sale limit. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's my next step? And then you um, put a um, a horizontal right at the low of that candle as well. Mm -hmm. Right there, yep. Okay. So here's the deal with this one. When And this is all about judgment, okay? Okay. So with this one here, I probably would have brought this up here. And because the, the wick is so long? Yeah, because the wick is so long. Okay. That's the only that's the only reason. Okay. Okay. So this becomes another cell limit. So how would I know where to put it? Um you just put it at the high of that other 
Kano, is that what you did? Yep. That's, okay. That's absolutely it. Because, I mean, the market could, you know, saying obviously she can come back and retest this level or this level. It doesn't necessarily matter. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, what you really want to focus on is to make sure that this market actually gave you about 100% back uh, return. And she did that. Mm -hmm. Now, say if you did put this down here, okay? Mm -hmm. See how the market gave you 100% here at this point? And then she turned around and wicked your wick there. And mm -hmm. All right. But even still, I like to have a little bit more of a tighter space mm -hmm. up here. So now at this point, all you're doing is doing what? Um, then you, oh, to take profit. So you, you get your ruler and measure from the bottom of that line, 25 pips down. And then you put a horizontal line right there for your take profit. Awesome. Yep, and you got it. You made that real simple. That was cool. Listen, I like it. I like stuff simple. Yeah, simple. but every, but people say that, but everybody's isn't all that simple. <laughs> well, honestly, you're absolutely right. A lot of people are. <laughs> You know, I'm, I I come from, I don't want to say from a line of teachers, but my father was a, a teacher. He was an educator. Oh, okay. Well, in our church, you know, per se. Okay. So I learned a lot from him. Mm-hmm. And a lot of patience as well. But, mm -hmm. And like, when you can make things as simple as possible for folk. Mm-hmm. Folks will get it, duplicate it, and run with it. Yeah, that that was cool. I like that. Let me ask you a question. So, mm -hmm. you see your setups, and um, how many cell limits will you put in a in your um, in your account at a time? It all depends oh. on your. Um, uh, what do you call it? It all depends how much, on yeah. how much I have in there. Right. Because, okay. I mean, you can essentially get away with uh, a number of um, trades in your account, but can your account handle it? Right. That's the thing. And say if, you know, your account gets, um, one of your trades get uh, triggered, Mm -hmm. And you have a larger lot size on it. You already have like six other different trades going. Mm -hmm. If any of those trades actually reverse, you know what I mean, on you, uh, now you're looking at your account being over leveraged. And then on top of that, you know, um, the market, well, the broker will start closing out your trades. If, you know what I mean, it's, um, if, it's, it's, if it's over leveraged or your account can't handle, you know what I mean, the drawdown. Okay. Yeah. So, so do the with the cell both of those cell limits. Do you um make them the same uh, lot size, or the same lot size? But smaller. Typically, yeah. Typically, until my account grows into like, say for instance, I have an account right now that I'm working off of that's like fifty something dollars. Okay. Essentially, I won't change the lot size until it grows to past hundred dollars or grow past like a um, two hundred dollars, and so on and so forth. I just stack them until it's time. That's it. Now, but when you're stacking these, though, do is it the same lot size? So mm -hmm. for for both of those cell limits, is it the same lot size? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. So I know sometimes somebody, some people will do a real low in the first one and then maybe bump it up the second one if it hits. Nah, I, I, I wait until everything is. Okay. Um, I wait until I have everything in place. Okay. You know. What, what was the three finger rule? I didn't see that um video. I told you. 
Oh, that that was it right there? Yes. That's the three finger what you just showed me? Yes. Cool. <laughs> cool. Is, okay. That is absolutely it. That's I, I mean I, I tell people like when I started explaining this to them, I said, mm-hmm. like, yo, this stuff is like so easy. A lot of people don't understand like this what Orange showed us mm-hmm. is nothing more than the head and shoulders. It's the same thing as the levels app. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just broken down into a smaller, um, smaller with the concept. Mm. And I'm I'm telling you, like, once he showed it, it was all she wrote. Right. You know what I mean? I, I didn't need to see anything else. I, I knew exactly what I needed to do. Wow. You know, I, I was just looking at things wrong before. But now it's like I can see this stuff in my sleep. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get it on levels and then try to see if I can see it on like trade and view. Girl, listen. <laughs> if you can see it on levels, you can see it on trade and view. Trust me when I say that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's because you're looking for the same thing. You're looking for the high than the previous high, right? Yep, that's it. So okay. So if you can find that, then you can find it. Yep. Okay. Got you. That's it. Well, I really thank you, Daniel. That that is that's that sounds real simple. So um I'm gonna send you some setups. All right, do it. That's and it. like I said, I have to do this training. <laughs> you got um, it. <laughs> I said, oh my God. You got so it. he just wants to see, you know, he want he said he wants people to start stepping up in the group. Mm-hmm. So um yes, yeah, so I have to do that on tomorrow. So I'm gonna okay. This, cool. I'm, I'm I'm gonna tell you now, this right here is trade. Mm-hmm. This is where she going. Okay. You're real JPY. Mm-hmm. This is your head. That's your candle that produced the, the our previous low. Mm. You see that the market gave back 100%. She came back, retested. This is where she go on. Wow. Yeah. I'll take a picture. That's where she go on. I'm going to take a picture of that. Mm-hmm. Let, me, let me just put this up here real quick. Hmm. I should take profit. Wow. Okay. Like I've my brain is <laughs> blown away. And I and what what's your what's your email address? And let me just send this to you now. Okay. It's um Danae, D E N A Y. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the email yet. <laughs> so, are you and Lori in the same team? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Lori's the one that brought me in. Oh, okay. But I told her if she ain't hurry up, I was going to actually be, I was going to be in the company before she did. <laughs> Contact Justin, my dad, going so. <laughs> Yeah, so he said D um D E N A Y. Yep. Danae yeah. dot mm-hmm. Brown at Verizon dot net. All right, perfect. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drop this. And this is my trade journal. You know what I mean? So this okay. has all my trades and everything that I've done Ooh. thus far. You know what okay. I mean? Um, in it. So you'll be able to see all the markups. You'll be able to see everything, um, how I set everything up. Okay. Uh, uh, the whole nine yards. And you can just take steps and you know, P's and Q's from that if you want. Okay. All right. I appreciate you. No problem, girl. It's all yours. <clears throat> so, um, okay. So, let me so, send you this video. Like I said, I'll send you some 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 trade setups that I do. Okay. All right. Done deal. Let's make it happen. So I'm going to process this video and I'm going to post it out in, um, in uh, what is the thing called? YouTube. And I'll send you the link. Okay. 
right? Thanks a lot. Not a problem. All right. Thanks, Dan. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye.